You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, if you guys remember, if you guys were actually subscribed to the channel, we actually did videos on Sarah Fuller of Vanderbilt. Now, Sarah Fuller was actually a soccer player, but Vanderbilt wanted to virtue signal and they actually put her on the team as a kicker. She made a few appearances and guys, the woke media was just going crazy about Sarah Fuller. She kicked the football on a kickoff. It went nowhere, really. None. She's not a football player. But the media was saying, oh, this is so great. I remember also there was another play where she was actually kicking a field goal and the defense made no attempt whatsoever to rush at all. The fits was in. And actually, guys, when Sarah Fuller actually made her first kickoff, when she kicked the ball, she ran immediately to the sideline. Why? She wanted no part of actually participating in the play, because if she actually had to make a play, if she actually had to make a tackle, she probably would get hurt. Now, guys, we've done many videos talking about how men should not be in women's sports. I believe the same thing goes the other way, too. I don't believe that women should be in in men's sports. College football is for men and women have no place on the football field. They can get hurt, seriously hurt, guys. I mean, you guys saw what happened to uh, Nick Chubb the other day on uh, Monday Night Football, right? Snapped his leg, his knee all messed up, out for the season. Women should not be on the football field. It is dangerous. Now, guys, we got another team that wants the virtue signal, and they actually put in a woman on the football field. Now, this woman actually made history because she was not a kicker. They put her in at safety, if I'm not mistaken. And we do have video, guys. But yet again, the fits was in. Because I watched this video, guys, and let's just be honest. There was no attempt whatsoever by the offensive line to put anybody to block this girl. None. The fits was in. She actually got credited with a with a QB hurry. And she ended up tackling the quarterback. She's only five foot six, 145 pounds. And she actually runs on the track team, by the way. Now, I believe this is her third year with the football team, but she had never made an appearance. But now this school, a division three school. Now, even though it's division three, guys, the football players are still huge. And she looks tiny compared to all of these um, other football players on the field. You guys remember that movie, uh, Lucas, back in the 1980s? Lucas was um, kind of a nerd and he wanted to be popular. He actually put on the pads on a um, to be on the football field. Uh, Charlie Sheen was actually in that movie. And he looked so tiny, he just jumped in. And the coach was like, hey, let him in and he'll learn his lesson. He got seriously hurt. Because he was so tiny. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this, guys. Look here. On Fox News or Fox Sports, junior at Division Three school becomes first woman non-kicker to appear in college football game. Yeah. Her name is uh, Haley Van Voris. And she registered a QB hurry. Now, guys, if I was on the offensive line and I saw a woman lining up, guess what? I'm not going to try to get my all and block her. I'm not going to do it because I know as an offensive lineman, an offensive lineman are huge. I can seriously hurt this person. But if I just let her go by, chances are she's not going to hurt the quarterback. This was a virtue signal, guys. Let's read this and then we'll get to the video here. A woman made history in a Division three college football game Saturday. Haley Van Voris, a safety at Shenandoah University in Winchester, Virginia, became the first woman to appear in an NCAA football game at a position other than kicker. She registered a quarterback hurry on a third down in the first quarter. 
Yeah. And by the way, this team blew the other team out. This is her right here. She is tiny, guys. Five foot six. She became the eighth woman to appear in an NCAA football game. I didn't realize it was that many guys. But um, look at this uh, tweet right here from uh, Reddick uh, CFB. History is made. Shenandoah safety number 10, Haley Von Voris, becomes the first female non-kicker to appear in a college football game at the NCAA or NAIA levels for uh, Division Three football SU Hornets. Yeah. So look here. Van Voris, who stands five foot six, 145 pounds, spent the last two years playing for the JV team at the university. Now, did she even play, though? That's the thing. Did she actually get any playing time? I'm curious about that. She was an all state honorable mention in high school playing for uh, Christ Church in Virginia. She also is a member of the university's track and field team. Uh, Van Voris, a junior, was interviewed by ESPN in 2021. Of course, ESPN was going to interview her. And she spoke about being a young woman playing football. She said this, quote, there's definitely people out there who see the story and think this girl's going to get hurt. She said, I hear that a lot or she's too small, doesn't weigh enough. Not tall enough, but I'm not the shortest on my team and I'm not the lightest. Well, the thing is, I don't even think she should actually be playing, guys. Look at this. Over here on uh, Shenandoah's uh, football page, this is her right here in uniform right there. And I looked up her stats, guys. She's been on this team for three years for the season. And I believe she only played one one play. She has no stats. She has uh, one QB hurry. That was it. I believe that was the only play that she played in because it was a virtue signal. None. For her career, three years. That was the only play in her whole entire career. 2023. But let's go ahead and look at this, guys, because. You're going to see her come in here from the bottom. I pointed out and uh, you'll see the play. It's built about the 22 yard line. So. so that's her right here. Number 10 right there. Keep an eye on her right there. Now, third down intermediate. And she is tiny from their own 23, 24 yard line. Yeah, third down, another big play. As Look, I said, she's about to line uh, up. formationally really diverse for the Eagles. Usually they mix up being. Now, watch this right here. This is her right here. Nobody is going to attempt to even block her. They're not paying her any attention. The fits was in right here. Under center and watch. in the gun, but so far today, exclusively in the gun. German with trips left, throws under duress, incomplete. I and she took down the QB. Took down the QB. The fits was in, guys. Nobody attempted to block her. Nobody. Uh, th this, this is crazy here. Nobody. Free play to the quarterback right there. Now, this was a virtue signal, guys. This is all it was. It was a complete virtue signal. These stunts, man, it needs to stop. All this virtue signaling out there in sports, going to get someone hurt eventually. What if an offensive lineman actually decided, you know what, let me show her. She could have been hurt. But the fits was in. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.